Hi, my name is Channing Tsone, and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons here at Children's Hospital. I do primarily work on kids with scoliosis and have been here for about 10 years now. We are trying to figure out the underlying cause of scoliosis. Inevitably, there is some genetic component because when we talk to families, we'll often find either a close or distant relative that has scoliosis. So there's some genetic component, and there are lots of studies going on across our country right now where we're sending DNA samples and trying to figure out what the genetic origins are but it's not so cut and dry that it's straightforward genetics. Um, there is inevitably some hormonal component to scoliosis because there is a significantly higher rate of young women whose scoliosis goes on to get worse than young men who get scoliosis. So there's got to be something along hormonal lines. There's probably something environmental. It's, it's hard for me to imagine. I find it very hard to believe there's any activity related or other issue like that. So we don't know why scoliosis presents in the first place. And then the next question is, well, will my daughter's scoliosis get worse? And we don't know the answer to that either, unfortunately. We have some predictive things. The real young kids with bigger curves, we can guess they're going to get worse, but some of them don't. And so that's why constant vigilance and continuing to monitor these kids is what keeps us from letting something bad happen and letting the scoliosis get worse without us knowing.